Hi, Mr. Sebastian and students. I just wanted to call and wish you a very happy American Independence Day. I hope you enjoy your celebration. If I give you a scale uh, from 0 to 10, how would you rate Kerala? And let's stay over here, 10 being the highest and 0 being the lowest. I would give it a 10. Thanks oh, so a <laughs> It is probably one of the, you know, when you travel in the United States, we were saying it is so globalized. When we went through Europe and you see foot lockers and Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's on every corner, and we were going through Germany, through Belgium, through Holland, and I'm like, I can buy this at home. I can see this at home. It's more money here. This is crazy. It's like, I didn't, you know, maybe in Belgium, I would be seeing a and then I come here and I'm like, I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> um, it's like, wow, you, you want something that's really untouched by the Western world and doesn't look like home, you want a new experience, this is it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon, for sharing that with us. Thank you. Hello, Jero and Sebastian. This is Ling Ling from Taiwan. It looks like you have a great time in Kerala, India. It's, it is such a wonderful uh, thing to travel around the world and stay with uh, an old friend, Sebastian. Also, he developed a responsible tourism project. It is very significant that you can uh, also travel around and help him out to uh, develop such a wonderful project and hope you have a good time there and someday in the future you can also come to Taiwan and be my guest. Okay, have a great time. Bye bye. And, um, my wife got Sebastian and Joseph and this whole group. And she part me across many nations uh, to get here, which was a lot of fun. And uh, when I got here, I just really surprised. Um, I'm an avid backpacker. I love the canoe. So seeing the boat races uh, is really exciting. The water is amazing here. Sebastian and Cheryl in India. Happy uh, Independence Day. This is Joe McNulty. I'm just north of Philadelphia in the USA. Philadelphia, of course, is where the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. So still celebrating here even even though this has been over 200 years so we hold these truths to be self-evident all men are created equal and are endowed by their creator with inalienable rights life liberty and the pursuit of happiness i hope you guys are pursuing happiness too happy independence day bye i really admire that sometimes even though some are positive some are negative but still intact culture and uh, regarding the climate, I prefer West India to East India, hands down. I don't know if it's because the monsoon just came, but the weather here is great. Uh, vegetation is great, the water is great. Uh, that's it. Thank you for having us. Uh, the last time I was here, I had my experience in Oroville and Pondicherry. And so this year, he had told me to reapply for the program, and I was uh, really excited when I got the news I got to come back because I love India. I mean, the, the food, the culture, the people, and just all the bright colors. It's just so different than what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. It's just beautiful. I love this place. Thank you. How about you? Uh, well, it's my first time in India. I've been here two months. Uh, I feel that coming to a country like this, I'm not from the United States, territory of the United States. It's a different culture, still westernized. Friends, what Hello Little World Skype is launched in a remote vill village in Kerala, the Responsible Tourism Project, today has become a pan-India project empowering women. Please send us your best wishes on f our celebration on 4th of July 2016. Thank you very much.